Madonna pretty much started out in video. I mean, she was, uh, she, she knew, she really had a grasp of this new kind of show business. She really got it. Uh, she's a great collaborator. She would find people to uh, write songs with. And if you get her album, The Immaculate Collection, every track is a hit. It's just amazing. And she knew that video was very important because what she was doing was very visual. Um, you know, the, the debauched bride, <laughs> like a virgin, which she did on, uh, at the Video Music Awards one year. And people were outraged. You look back now and say, what were they outraged about? She was rolling on the floor in a bridal dress. But at the time, it was a big deal. And you know, people were talking about Madonna. And she continued doing this, but it wasn't, it wasn't just stupid provocation. There's always something there. It was referring to something else. It was referring to fashion or the status of women. And it was fascinating. It was just interesting to see her do this. And she was the biggest star in the world, one of the biggest stars in the world. She was incredible. Well, she understood on TV because I guess she saw it when she was a kid in Detroit. Um, she just has a mind that can, she's very talented. And she had a mind that grasped that. She said, video, music, I can do this, I'll work with these people, I'll move to New York. And uh, she did it really well. And she got good people to collaborate with her. And she put, you know, her stuff is all great. Those, those videos she did in the 90s, especially, are amazing in the 80s too. If there were no MTV, I think Madonna would have been a star somehow because she will not be denied. <laughs> she wanted to be a star. Uh, yeah, I think she has a, a talent that surpasses video and doesn't rely entirely on video. I don't know if Madonna changed much over the years. She was always very businesslike. Uh, she always knew what she was doing. She's very aware of, you know, being on camera and how things will look. And you know, you would set up. I've told this story before, but we were uh, we were in Spain once in a place called Ronda, where she was shooting a, a video, and we had our camera guys and sound guys set up this beautiful shot in this like ancient church or something. It was just Fabulous, and here's the chair where Madonna will sit, it's lit up, see how this light comes over. It was great. She came in and said, I have to look at this for the next 15 fucking years. You're gonna change the whole thing. So I had to change the whole shot, relight it, push this back here, do this. It was fabulous. I just love somebody that knows what they want. So she knows that she knows that so well. She's never gonna look less than great. And I think you need that if you're gonna be, you know, a world conquering pop star.